And there you have the meat dish. So Just turn it all off. Everything goes off. <laughs> Bam Bam, if you're interested in saucing it up this summer, these kebabs, stay tuned. This is modern what is going on, Bam Bam? How are you doing? This is your boy Izzy and Kirsty with Modern League Kitchen, aka your favorite fam in the kitchen. Give you guys the keys, stay blessed, don't stress. Today we have a simple summer succulent recipe succulent. for you guys. We are making beef kebabs with delicious smoked Gouda sauce. Ooh. Oh my God. Moment of silence for the kitchen that was just killed. Okay, moment over. This recipe is super, super simple and fresh and it's everything you love about summer in one kebab. So let's stay tuned, let's stop talking and let's just get to the cooking, all right, all right. But before we get to that cooking, make sure you grab subscribe to Modern Lee Kitchen right now, as well as follow us on Kirsty Rooks, Izzy Lee Media at Instagram. As you were saying before. We're ready to cook, let's go! Let's go. Here are ingredients for these kebabs. We have a variety of spices, oils, wine, mushrooms, bell peppers, and of course the beef. So you're gonna start by mincing your garlic finely, getting your steak ready in the Ziploc bag, putting it into the bag, top up all your ingredients, your vegetables, and then your mushrooms can be whole. Now we're gonna start with some Worcestershire sauce. I did about a tablespoon to two tablespoons, just enough. And then some pepper, some sage, garlic powder. As you can see, I don't have correct amounts, but for the coriander, I did half a, a teaspoon. Then I'm gonna put in my wine, oil, and shake it up. Make sure everything gets covered. All right, so now we're doing this POV style, okay? In addition to the peppers and the mushroom and the beef, we're gonna just cut some onion just to make sure it's Good. Beautiful. Now we're gonna cube these onions. And you're gonna wanna peel the skin off. Heavy shield your eyes so they don't water. <laughs> As you guys can see, my prowess is levels beneath Chef Kirsty. <laughs> I am the trainee. I'm gonna use skewers into the water so they don't light fire. So they won't light fire when we're broiling the beef and the vegetables. Well, this is not fitting. Guys, make sure that you have a bowl that is long enough to fit all your skewers. Soak them for 20 minutes. Maybe just massage those sticks. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. So we're back over here and we're ready to assemble our kebab. Okay, so you can just put the meat and stuff in a bowl just so we're able to grab it. This isn't like a step you need to do, but just for the sake of us doing it. Okay, I got my skewer. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the pepper first. Okay, I'm gonna start with the meat. Okay. So how far would you say is like a good place to stop at all? I think as long as you're able to like, you know, so like you don't want stuff. it all the way to the tip. So yeah. Here comes my, here comes the mushroom. Oh, oh, look so at So you're making oh. yours. <laughs> <laughs> Basically a sandwich, don't judge me. I'm not judging. Comes the red pepper. Okay. And then you just start all over again. This is harder than it looks. This Ebby's is really not hard. Helping. Like, this is actually not that easy, guys. My God. If you guys are like professional kebabers, more power to you. I'm also trying to avoid stabbing myself to death. Exactly, that's the main part of this. Don't stab yourself. Don't drop that duck. If you're doing a marinade, just the principle to remember is you want double the fat of the acid. So today I put in more oil than I did the red wine and the Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. I don't know. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say. Nobody that. knows how to w say it. Of it I'm almost finished. Kirstie looks like she's still Not struggling. We got a lot of ways to go. All right. I think that looks good. Bow, bow, bow. How do we have our kebab here? I'm gonna go ahead and put it onto the rack. What's going on? It's like a cookie sheet on flat pan. Basically. We gotta improvise, guys. Look. All right, so put them in the oven for 10 minutes. And then here's your finished product. Ooh, so crispy and just succulent and delicious. Now you're gonna start your Gouda sauce. You're gonna start with some butter some flour, milk, and then it's gonna thicken, so keep stirring. You could add more milk to thin it out. I, I suggest that. And then you're just gonna put in your cheese. And it's a cute little dipping sauce. 
All right, guys, so we are back. Just finished out, just took these um, kebabs out of the oven. They're looking mighty tasty, as you can see. Look at this. We also have our Gouda sauce that, you, that we created as well. I'm gonna try to dip this. I don't know. I'm <laughs> Hey, man, I'm going for it. Mmm. Mmm. That's a very frothy dip. Very froth. It's like a sauce. It's a thinned out, but it's the cheese that's it's getting room temperature, so it's cooling. Mm. Right, we could spend all day eating in front of you guys, and trust me, we would have no guilt about it. This recipe was absolutely delicious in the summertime. Great recipe for going out there and hitting the grill up really good with the family and everything. So easy to make. Not actually that many steps at all. Really, the only, I'd say, longer part of the process is the marinade. I'll tell you, this was a win. This is definitely a win. And I got my wife. You were just addicted. It's part of my personality. Somebody's gonna get this woman. Guys, this is all that we have for you today. Please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But as always, stay blessed.